announce the letter for today. Maybe I should announce the letter for today. B. The letter B. This video is brought to you by the letter B. I saw a big pool of water and I was like, oh. Hello everybody. Welcome back. Another episode here. Rad Mini. Rad Mini riding. I'm going to take the streets again. <laughs> it's, uh, ground is saturated with water, so it's really wet. Guess where I'm headed today? Yes, you guessed it. I'm headed to the pool. That's where I'm headed today. All right. Oh. Oh, after yesterday's ride, my back, my SI joint <laughs> got a little... A little sore. Uh, I don't think it's the ride. It may be the ride and it also may be because uh, I was uh, doing some yard work. Whenever I do yard work, my back aches. My lower back, SI joint. Oh, it is hot today. Ooh. It is a warm day today. Uh, so, whenever, whenever it rains a lot, whenever it rains a lot, and it does rain a lot, okay, it does rain a lot, so whenever it rains a lot, I notice uh, the bugs start coming out, especially, especially summer, and it's, it's about the beginning of summer right now. So it's about the beginning of summer and the mosquitoes are out. Jeez, it's been raining for like two weeks straight and I can feel that it's a green light, it's a green light. Sorry about that. I had to talk to the car like as if I was talking to the driver. You know how it is. So yeah, it's been raining. It's been raining like two weeks straight. Is that a dead, yeah, dead turtle? Dead turtle in the road. So it's been raining like two weeks straight. And uh, whenever it rains, the bugs come out, especially the mosquitoes. So I got like a mosquito. Right before I was riding the bike, getting ready and everything, I had a mosquito just follow me and that is one of the reasons why I uh, I always wear long sleeve shirts a buff compression tights it, it helps it really reduces the amount of uh, stings you get from the mosquitoes For some of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Other people, they don't. So. Now the birds are out. So, basically when the bugs come out, the, the birds come out. When the birds come out, the other animals come out. So it's like a whole cycle chain, food chain thing going on here. I hear a little grinding noise in the back of the uh, hub motor. I don't know if I should be concerned. Out of all the bikes, this is the oldest bike that I have by, by age. 
it's not the one that I have the most miles on, but it's the oldest one. This is my first Rad Power Bikes, the Rad Mini. So I'm, I'm headed to the pool. So be, I already started the trip. So everyone, please like, share, comment. Let me know you like this video. And also consider joining the members, membership, exclusive content, maybe exclusive content, early access, that's for sure. Able to uh, communicate with me, shout outs, and uh, possibly even help me make videos. If that's what you're interested in. All right. Sorry you see me like moving my hands. I'm uh I got a I'm wearing a uh Flexi freeze vest. I'm wearing a flexi freeze vest, so uh, my chest mount is not quite as uh, as steady compared to my body armor with the Kevlar in it. But, uh, but I am staying cool because it's going to be well, not too bad. It doesn't feel that bad, but it is humid. It's supposed to get cooler. We'll see about that. But uh, it's humid, and I'll just go ahead and put on uh, the Flexi Freeze vest. People riding the bikes around. It's a beautiful day to ride your bike. All right, right hand turn. Wait for that thing to get out of the way first. So yeah, I'm headed to the pool, everybody. And uh, I should uh, announce the announce the letter for today. Maybe I should announce the letter for today. B, the letter B. This video is brought to you by the letter B for Bitcoin. Recently, it, cra it crashed in price. I keep an eye on stuff like that. That seems to be the new... I got an itch on my neck here. Oh, I don't know if that's mosquito bite. Like, cryptocurrency seems to be, like, the new thing for younger and, and older generations, but more prominently, younger generations, seems like. If you haven't noticed, you've probably seen some people on YouTube pushing it. got to be careful a lot of that I want to say a lot but uh, there are just some people who are really shady and uh, they don't mind taking your money if you give them money they'll take it if you give them if you give them crypto they, they'll uh, think about it and these are people in the crypto business I find that ironic If you ask some of these crypto people, do they take crypto for payment? They'll have to think about it. But if you uh, 
If you ask them if they take cash, they'll take that all day. The irony. The irony. So I'm headed. I'm headed to the pool. Where else would I go? I might. I might actually stop by the clubhouse. So today I got. Uh, I brought my nutritional drink. I didn't. Uh, I didn't bring my iPad or anything. I'm just going there for fun. Plus, you know, I'm riding the Rad Mini. I don't have my full setup. And a couple more days, I'll be going to Kidfish with my youngest. And we'll be eating out on Memorial Day, Monday. So, unfortunately, the pandemic, unfortunately, the pandemic uh, shut down a lot of my favorite restaurants. Jeez. Boston Market kind of shut down around here. Uh, Red Lobster, my favorite. Oh, man. I, I, I like Red Lobster. Not because it's the best or the greatest. It just has everything that I that I like and it's available around me. If there's a better seafood place around here, I would go to it, but overall, the price, the food is okay. Um, some of the appetizers are really good, but I like the flavored iced tea drinks. I like the mango. I didn't know you could get it sweetened or unsweetened. I thought it only came unsweetened with, uh, with mango flavoring in it because the mango is pretty sweet anyways uh, what else uh, black walnut cafe which was at the mall that closed down I think they they just left the area um, did I say Boston Market I think Boston Market and uh, just just a lot of a lot of places where we would go as a family and enjoy. Now we have to find a new place. We kind of have to find a new place. So we did find a new place, but it's super expensive, man. Jeez. I took my wife there for Mother's Day. She liked it. The kids liked it. The whole family liked it. Of course they would, right? They didn't have to pay for it. But super expensive. It's just raw fish, man. Anyways, I just ordered some hot noodle soup or something. The thing is like, the thing is so small, it's only for one person, but they lot, they brought like four little cups, four little little cups, like, like I'm gonna share it with everybody. No, this is mine, this is my meal. Oh goodness. I made a short on it if you're interested in seeing what I'm talking about. Hey everyone, I'm back. I just realized that uh, my ride is about 15, 20, 10 to 15 minutes long, so didn't really have a chance to <laughs> show anything. Anyways, I'm near the lake at the at the pool. I made it. I'm in the shade. Uh, here's my there's the uh, there's the bike, and uh, I'm just relaxing right now in the shade. Uh, I'd rather be here, kind of away from people. Uh, don't want to be around kids. There's some kids here. Summer is right around the corner, and I guess some people have uh, got out and out of school. But uh, I'll try to I'll try to combine two videos into one, make it a video, a long video. Um, don't know what happened, but that's the kind of stuff that happens when you do bike vlogs. It uh, sometimes it just uh, poof, gone, you know, and you uh, got to make more videos. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Bye.
circled back. Man, I enjoyed that time there. I uh, I probably won't go to the to the clubhouse. I just man, I'm just so relaxed. It's like just don't feel like going to the clubhouse. Anyways, I want to get home. Uh, there were a lot of people at the pool, and there were some people out there who were uh, eating. They brought some takeout food, and man, it was good. It was some kind of like pasta primavera or something. I don't know what it was. It smelled good. Wow. So anyways, uh, I think uh, my last video, or probably this video, I'll probably roll it into one. The, uh, the video stopped for some reason. So I gotta keep my eye out on this one. That's what happens sometimes. Anyways. So I'm riding, riding on home now. I'm gonna head on home. Homes here like crazy. Get away for these traffic. Okay, the car wants to stop. There's no reason for them to stop, but all right, I'll just go. So down two bars of battery, got three bars remaining. This battery's been uh, sitting around for like two weeks. So anyways, I don't think school is out yet, but I think next week is the last week of school. It's going to be just finals. I think there's going to be some finals or some tests they need to do. But yeah, that's amazing. Anyways, I am all, uh, I'm almost dry actually. And I'm wearing the Flexi Freeze vest. It does feel cool. It's not iced. It's like cold water packets now. But it does help. And I'll and I'll take it. Because right now it's uh very humid, warm, hot. I've been in the shade at the pool as you saw. Looks like uh Looks like there's a 20 mile an hour speed limit, so I think I'll be okay. That's like uh, some kind of, I don't know, pre-K church school. The high school is up ahead. And I don't think the high school's out yet. Okay, it looks like it, high school's not out yet. I'm so relaxed. <sighs> Go out to the pool, just, just relax. That's what I do. I think some of the high school kids are leaving. The seniors are probably leaving. listening to some music. Got my Power Beats Pro on. 
I usually use wear it when I go to the pool or the clubhouse. But since I have it on, I just kept it on because I want to listen to some music without getting a copyright strike. You know how it is. Some people say it's not good because you can't hear. I can hear. I just don't turn it on full blast, you know. But it does, because you got your ears covered, of course, it does dampen your hearing. But to say you can't hear, that's not true. I can hear. There's the lake management company. They're pulling all the, uh, I don't know what they're pulling out. <laughs> lake weed, creek weed, water weeds. That's what I'm guessing. Anyways. This is just the beginning of summer. It's going to get hotter than this. All right. I don't know what I have planned. Uh, it is Memorial Day week, or the weekend of Memorial Day weekend. I don't know what to do. Should I cut the grass? The grass is still wet out there, but maybe I'll maybe I'll do some some yard work because I don't want to do it over the weekend. Just kind of get it done before it gets. Just do something. Looks like that. Maybe high school was let out already. Anyways, <laughs> I'm enjoying the ride. Hopefully, all of you are enjoying the ride. Good to have the sun out again. Man, when it rains, now I know what it's like to live in Seattle when it rains all the time. Don't know if I ever want to live in a place like that. All right. I was thinking about maybe doing some calisthenics, but man, working out. Doing yard work is a workout for me now. And one of the things I'm doing to try to keep my uh, my body from going through uh, muscle atrophy, and it's natural as you get older, you just don't keep the uh, you don't keep your physique like you think you do when you get older. Um, I have been taking creatine. And whether you work out or you don't work out, your body needs that, uh, that creatine for multiple uses, just, just maintaining your body. Also for physical movement, of course, that's where it's most useful. All right. I'm in traffic now. Just gotta wait. All right. Watch out, truck. All right. That's probably the most dangerous part of my ride, that little intersection right there. So. Somebody walking. They got their headphones on. I ring the bell a lot, but you know, it's useful. No trains today. We didn't catch any trains today. We got a, a walker. 
Looks like from high school. Got a backpack on. Oh, just starting to walk right in front. Okay, he heard me. He had headphones on and he, <laughs> and he moved right in front of me. So just, just making sure. All right. All right, let's do this little jump. My favorite part of the ride. Ooh, scared the birds. <laughs> So, I guess my next video will be me riding the Red Mini Step Through with the Rewrite Co Pilot. And I'll be taking my youngest to Kid Fish. It's on. I just got the uh, newsletter, bi weekly newsletter from the association. It looks like they haven't canceled it. So, if it's not canceled, and then that means it's, uh, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. All right, so so that's gonna be my plans right there. Got to slow down, slow down, slow down. This is where I flipped my bike over, broke my hand, which was not fun at all. By the way, not fun at all. I'll tell you that much. So broke my hand there. So slow down. Learn my lesson. You don't have to go fast all the time, every time, everywhere. Just when, just when, just when the coast is clear to go fast, you can go fast. All right. I don't know if I can take the gravel trail. I think I can. I'll do that. I like taking the gravel trail. I also like listening to music while I'm riding. I feel like I'm on a peloton. I can't, be, I can't believe people pay thousands and thousands of dollars to bike indoors, but I guess that's the thing now. That's the new trend. I guess during the pandemic it would make sense, but I don't know about now, considering that uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say things aren't getting are getting back to normal. I actually don't think they are. I think uh, I'm a little cautious because I do think that uh, a lot of the numbers in the numbers were faked. Well, I wouldn't say faked, but they were manipulated. I do think that a lot of the coronavirus numbers were somewhat manipulated. Like, you know, information's coming out after, of course, always after, that things are, were not, you know, recorded in such a way. Uh, so, but we'll see, we'll see. It is summer. I do think there'll be less cases during summer. But I'm still cautious. You never know what's around the corner. If uh, my gut feeling tells me there's a lot of things coming that uh, may, well, some of you may, may be expecting this, you're smart enough. Other people will be totally caught off guard. There's still a lot of built up, pent up uh, things that are left over from the pandemic, like uh, evictions. Um, again, there's a lot of businesses, especially restaurant business, food service, that uh, did not make it through the pandemic. A lot of places were closed. Some of my favorite places around here closed. Then again, some places opened up. There's a Dunkin' Donut in my area, so I'm kind of happy. 
but yeah, there, a lot of places closed up. So, what do you do when you consolidate? You know, well, you can't hire everybody. I don't think a lot of maybe a lot of people didn't even go back to work. They're getting that unemployment, extended unemployment. But I think in Texas they're going to limit the unemployment. I think it's ended, the extended unemployment. So we'll see if people go back to work or not. So there's still like a lot of people who are unemployed who are dropping off the radar. In other words, they're dropping off the uh, unemployment numbers. Not because they got a job, it's because, well, you know, they only stay technically unemployed or recorded as unemployed for so long before they just drop off, right? Who knows what the real unemployment numbers are? But things are, things seem to be getting better. Okay, things seem to be getting better. Uh, I notice more traffic, more activity, more business activity. Before it used to be, uh, you know, it seemed like government was getting into uh, private citizens' lives and how they operate their business and everything in the name of public health. I find it interesting when people all of a sudden get very angry about the whole lockdown they're all of a sudden reopening. Real, we're, we're gonna reopen now. So the backlash, who knows? I predict, uh, just my own predictions, okay, take it for what it's worth. This, there, there are ramifications for all of this, and we're feeling it now. Inflation, I don't know if you noticed, but Prices have gone up on things. Uh, lack of supply. Okay. It's harder to get stuff. Um, I don't know about you, but... You know, the, the whole eviction moratorium, that's going to finally hit. We'll see how that goes. I think it's going to be staggered to to uh, lessen the damage. So it's not gonna be all at once. Not everybody's gonna be evicted at the same time, but it's just gonna be slowly staggered. And they're hoping that the economy can absorb it. I find it interesting that while that's going on, that home prices have continued to soar and rise, basically due to inflation and also shortage, shortage of workers, shortage of homes. But with rising prices, and I have I have questions about whether there's employment. You know, people, you can only get a loan if you're employed. They don't consider unemployment an employment. So, hard to get a loan. So, that's, that remains to be seen, like... What's going to happen? I, I don't, I don't foresee a very bright picture. But then again, you know, so there, there's people who are literally doom and gloom all the time, and they're waiting for like the collapse, which never seems to happen. But it's hard to deny the effects of the pandemic and the slowdown of everything. I'm just hoping one more year, my youngest graduates, and then I think uh, we'll have grandma living with us. So we're, as, as a family, we're kind of consolidating as well. If you think about a family unit, we're consolidating. I'm not sending my daughter out into the wild. I'm taking my mom in, not because she She's hurting, but, but just to be with the family together, you know. If it wasn't for the pandemic, you know, she would uh, she would be in California. And we'd be going to Universal Studios every summer, but nope. Not this year, or not next year. 
not the foreseeable future. Okay, I'm going to take the shortcut. It didn't rain yesterday. It hasn't rained today. So, uh, willing to go through the, uh, the field here. Oh, look at these. Everything's starting to flower. All the leaves are coming out. Oh, let's just throttle through this. Some of it may be muddy. Oh, yeah, it's muddy right here. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. God. Oh. It's really muddy right here. I hope it goes through. I'm fishtailing a little bit. Fishtailing. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I'm fishtailing. Okay, I made it. <laughs> I saw I saw a big pool of water and I was like, oh. Uh, because once you get caught up in it, you're just going to spin out. That's the thing. I'm glad I'm glad there was a lot of grass. I think that's what saved me actually. I think that's what saved me the grass because I saw a pool of water. Uh, let me see, I'm a little bit muddy. My compression tights, my sandals are a little muddy. So yeah, I did, <laughs> I was mud walking a little bit. I probably shouldn't have done that because that leaves a rut. Anyways, I did what I did. Maybe I'll wash the bike. I always say I'm gonna wash the bike. Never do. Once I get home, that's it, I'm finished. <laughs> I just want to ride the bike. I don't want to work on the bike. I don't want to wash the bike. I don't want to maintain the bike. I want to ride the bike. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, share, comment. Let me know you like this video. And also, join the membership to get exclusive content, early access, shout-outs, and even possibility of helping me make videos or collaborating with me. Almost like sponsorship level. Alright everyone, until next time. Bye bye, see y'all later.